I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Hello and welcome to TNT Teaching and Talking the Bible. We are so happy that you joined us. And we are coming to you today with the topic of depression. We've been talking about our mental health and physical health uh, all month long. And so today on this show, we want to talk about depression. And uh, what is depression? And let me just read this real quickly. Those suffering from depression can experience intense feeling of sadness, anger, hopelessness, fatigue, and a variety of other symptoms. So um, if you're dealing with that, we're going to talk about that today. And um, Sister Tracy is with me and Sister Betty. Hi. And we're going to um, jump right into it. And I'm going to hand it off to Sister Tracy. You know, depression affects any and everybody. Yeah. Um, anyone can be depressed for different reasons. You mentioned a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, but not just the mood swings. There's also clinical depression mm -hmm. where the chemicals in your brain become unbalanced. Yes. Um, I have something here that I want to share with the audience. Clinical depression is a physical condition that must be diagnosed by a physician. It may not be caused by unfortunate life circumstances, mm -hmm. nor can the symptoms be alleviated by one's own will. All right. Contrary to what some in the Christian community believe, Clinical depression is not always caused by sin. Depression can sometimes be caused by a physical disorder that needs to be treated with medication and or counseling. Of course, God is able to cure any disease or disorder. However, in some cases, seeing a doctor for depression is no different than seeing a doctor for any other kind of injury. Mm -hmm. So if someone had diabetes, they would go to the doctor and get mm -hmm. some insulin. <laughs> yeah. If you're suffering from clinical depression, you need to be diagnosed and you need to follow the orders of the doctor. Mm -hmm. So um, depression entails a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the ups and downs of your moods, mm -hmm. the sadness like you stated. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when we're depressed, especially during the holiday season, mm -hmm. it's a yes. time when people get very depressed yes. because of different reasons. Not Maybe not being able to afford the things that they want mm -hmm. for their children. Mm -hmm. um, their finances aren't right to get mm -hmm. those gifts that they right. so want to get. And um, a lot of times people fall in depression during the holiday times. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't have your loved, one, loved ones with you. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot of different reasons why people get down in the dumps, don't want to get out of bed, mm -hmm. and just become depressed. Yep. Amen? Amen. Depression <laughs> is something that um, it comes out of nowhere. Because the more you think about your situation, yes. I don't know if you guys will agree with that, but <laughs> the more you think about your situation, the more you feel like, wow, it's just hopeless. There's yes. nothing I can do. Oh, this is just not going to work for me. And, oh, I have, and then we can get depressed about thinking about things that missed opportunities, things that we could have done as they say you should have could have would have mm -hmm. and you find yourself saying oh if only I, I had did that oh i could have did this oh i should have did that but then for whatever reason um, you find yourself worrying and stressing and what is depression to me depression is worry what, what do you guys think it is <laughs> uh, um it's just something that really just put you down to your lowest esteem. Mm. You know, your lowest estate. You just low in your spirit on everything. Mm -hmm. Nothing go your way. Mm -hmm. Nothing work out. Mm -hmm. You know, you you're um, 
people get to pay, press doing divorces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Loss of a job. Mm -hmm. They lose interest in, in things that they once used to enjoy. Yes. Doing or people that you used to enjoy being around, they have no interest in it no more. Mm -hmm. But they're in a depressed state. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 it don't take but a um, little bit to tick them off. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they 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 depressed. Yeah. You know, and 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 if you say the wrong thing, you almost have to walk on eggshells around yes. them. You know, because they they so uh, depressed, they ticked off. They feel like the world is against them. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it ain't nobody for them. Mm -hmm. You know, everything they said, it ain't right, or everything they do, they can't get it right. You know, it's 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 a sad predicament to be in. Yes. And think the whole world is against you. Yes. And I want you to know God is not against you. Yeah. He's for you. He yeah. said, I'll never leave you, not forsake you. Yeah. He said, he'll always be with you, even to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and if you, I advise you to get God on your side. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need a friend, but you need a friend in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, in Christ, I'll be a friend there when nobody else will be. You can talk to him and he won't tell your business nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they feel like people tell all of them or spread their business yes. or they're too afraid to, to share anything with you because they think you, it's going to be broadcast <laughs> everywhere. But I can assure you Christ will not tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they used to say, tell it to the pillar. You know, <laughs> he won't tell nobody. Yeah. Uh, um, I really, we really have to pray deeply for people that's depressed. You know, and try to invite them to be around the spirit. You know, try to invite them to come to church. It's hard to get them to come to church. Mm -hmm. And and if you do get them to come, it, you need to get them to participate in it. You know, so you can kind of break that mm -hmm. that spirit. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of see depression as carrying a heavy load. Mm -hmm. yes. well, you're just weighted down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned, um, you think the whole world world is against mm -hmm. you and nobody's for you. Mm -hmm. It's just the outlook. Your outlook is gloom and doom. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you're you're walking around with a heavy weight on your shoulders mm -hmm. and you don't know how to get rid of it or you you haven't realized that mm -hmm. you, you can take it to the Father. Mm -hmm. um, but again, many of us suffer from that. Yes. But there's things that we can do to cope with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you do feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulder and you get into this self-centered mode yes. um, where you just feel like, oh, it's just me, it's just me, nobody understands. And um, that brings on depression and that brings on the, the ability to not cope and function from day to day yes. and you find yourself oh well I'm gonna do this today and then instead of doing it you go no I don't feel like yes. it I'm just gonna stay in the bed today yes. I don't want to get out and then you find yourself staying in the bed the next day yes. and, not <laughs> dealing and not coping and really you're going into a state of depression there's nothing physically wrong with you, but because you get so depressed, it can bring on physical ailments. Right. And so <laughs> you find yourself just staying in bed, just saying, oh, woe is me, woe is me. <laughs> so, but we're going to come back and talk more about depression. Stay with us. We fix laptops. Your first place to stop for all your computer repairs. We offer quick, dependable, convenient, affordable repair. We fix laptops. Call now. We are located at 945 Coffee Road in Modesto, California. We make it easy and convenient. We offer on-site pickup in surrounding areas in Modesto. PC and Apple repairs. We fix them all. Virus removal, LCD broken, power jack repair, and much more. Remember, we fix laptops. Call now, 209-248-7483. And welcome back to TNT, Teaching and Talking the Bible. And on this episode, we are talking about depression. And you kind of wonder, like, well, 
what, where does depression come from? How does it start? What, what brings it on when you find yourself not being able to do something or have something or complete something? And I was thinking about this when we came up with the topics and I was thinking like, who can I, you know, look to in the Bible? And it just, the Lord just kept giving me Ahab. Now, for those of you that don't know about Ahab, Ahab wanted Neboth, uh, Naboth's land. And he went to Naboth and he said, you know, give me your land. And Naboth said, no, are you kidding me? I'm not going to give you my father's <laughs> land. This is my inheritance. And why are you looking over here wanting my stuff? It's like, no, 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 no. You can't have that. And so this is the scripture I'm going to read. It picks up after Naboth has said no. Uh, 1 Kings 21 and 4. And Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased. Mm. No, remember we said Depression is a weight, is a heaviness. And he and displeased because of the word which Naboth, the Jezreelite, had spoken to him. For he said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my father. And he laid him down, this is Ahab, he laid him down upon his bed and turned his face and would not eat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he went into depression yes, he because did. he could yes, not he have this man's land. And so it took his wife, Jezebel, oh. <laughs> to come in and tell him some other stuff. But <laughs> if you get time, go to First Kings chapter 21 and read that story. But this is a good example yes, of is. becoming mm -hmm. so heavy and so weighted down. Yes. <laughs> you become depressed yes yes and that that teaches us that <laughs> depression is triggered by life circumstances yes, it, is. Um, it may be triggered by something as simple as no you can't buy my land in mm -hmm. a bought situation or it can be triggered by a job loss yes um, a death of a family member yes. mm -hmm. divorce yes. there's a lot of different areas mm -hmm. that that trigger depression mm -hmm. psychological problems Problems, yep. mental problems, mm -hmm. yep. all of that, all of those, you know, trigger that heaviness. Yes. You know, and um, I, I love that story because <laughs> Ahab was the king and he had more than enough, mm -hmm. but he wanted Naboth's little piece of land. Mm -hmm. And so, and because he was king, he thought he should have it. Mm -hmm. But Naboth said, no, this is my father's inheritance. Mm -hmm. You can't have it. And, and it's so, such a funny story yeah. because the king went home and went to his bed yeah. because of something that he could not have. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't eat. <laughs> and that just tells you how, how strong the depression is. is and how it can affect us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had all the signs of depression. He had all the signs of depression. That's so funny. And, and, and we laughing, but that really happens with people in today life. Yes, you definitely. know, they want something of somebody else's. Yes. And and they get depressed about it <laughs> yes. because they can't have it. Because they, <laughs> you, and, and, and they act out. Yes. yes you know, do. because they can't have what they want on somebody else's. That's right. They start putting on different uh, characteristics, mm -hmm. and you know that hey, okay, what's wrong with this person? You know, yes, they 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 showing who they really are. Yes, <laughs> but uh, when we studied this here, you know, I, I, uh, depression happens a lot with with the holy women of God. Mm, say that. <laughs> And I know people may say, oh, what is she talking about? We get depressed, ladies. Yes, yes. <laughs> Especially first ladies. Yes. First ladies of churches, they get depressed. Yes. You know, they get depressed and, and over their finances or in their marriage and 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 they don't know what to do. Yes. You know, they, they, they stay in situations and stay in marriages that they want to get out of, but they really can't. Mm. You know, because they, they have the church on their mind or, 
Uh, they wonder what people are going to say. Uh, uh, it's all different reasons that they, you know, stay in a depressed state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we function with our daily, daily life and we go on with, mm -hmm. with life. And people are going on with life right today and they're walking around in depression. Mm -hmm. You know, they're walking around uh, troubled in their spirit. Mm -hmm. They're walking around, can't talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that they look for. Mm -hmm. You know, let you know that you're depressed. When you in your home and you just refuse to leave out of it for whatever reason it might be because you're depressed. Yes. You become embarrassed about the situation that's going on in your life and, and you just go into a depression. Right. You know, and you, you don't want to make a decision to do something because if I flee, if I run, if I do this here, you know, what people are going to think. It's always about what people going to think. Mm -hmm. What people gonna think instead of wondering what God gonna think, and thank God for God because He keeps us grounded yes. <laughs> yes. in our depression. Yes, because I, I can say that because I'm a woman of God and I've been in a depressed state, but I find myself in the Word of God, yes. and I thank God for His Word because in that in that time I can get into His Word. Yes. I want to read a First Corinthians ten and thirteen. Mm -hmm. He said, "There had no temptation taken you." But such is common to man. Mm -hmm. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But with the temptation also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. So I thank God that we're able to bear mm -hmm. depression mm -hmm. as a holy woman of God. Mm -hmm. We can bear the depression. We can go through it because we stay in the Word. Mm -hmm. As long as you stay rooted and grounded in the Word of God, He'll help you to go through it. And deal with every issue that's going on. Mm -hmm. You can grind, you can be balanced. Yeah. You can be balanced with it. I know how to handle this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The devil tried to bring this depression up on me, but I can handle it. Because God said in his word, there's no temptation gonna take overtake me. Mm -hmm. Because I hold him to his word. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as I stay in his word and stay faithful in his word, you know, I ain't I ain't got to worry about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And depression, um, you know. It's, to me, depression is, I can't have my way, so I'm going to pout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I, I, can't have, well, I can't have my way, so I'm going to pout. Look at Ahab. He couldn't have his way, so he wanted to pout. And that's what we do. We can't have our way. It's something going on that we want that's to have yeah, yeah. that we can't have. That's true. And we pout. We're children of, of no, God. Pout, Come yeah, on. We, yeah. 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 And we're little children mm -hmm. of God. I don't care how grown we are, how old we are. <laughs> we are God's little children. And we act like little children sometimes <laughs> when we can't have our way. And we find ourselves going into depression. Now, don't don't get like Ahab and run to the man. Go to church and get some prayer. We're going to be right back. True fitness. True results. I hear True Fitness for a personal training studio only. We specialize in diet, strength, conditioning, and we also offer MMA cardio kick classes, and we also have diet programs as well by themselves. A lot of people enjoy coming here simply because we are very isolated. We don't have a lot of the gym atmosphere. It's very one-on-one -on -one personal training. Everyone likes that idea of working with a trainer. If you hit us up and mention that you've seen our commercial on my TV 26, you get a free training session. Every journey begins with a single step. Are you ready to take yours? Here at Modesto Junior College, we can help you begin. The college offers a variety of programs and opportunities, including financial aid. MJC students can transfer to four-year colleges after graduating. Our instructors will prepare you for a successful future in the field of your choice. If you want a quality, affordable education with unlimited horizons, make Modesto Junior College your first step. And welcome back to TNT, Teaching and Talking the Bible. And today we are talking about depression mm -hmm. and all the things that come with depression yes. and um, knowing it when you have it. And um, 
Uh, we kind of talked about what to look for, the um, sleeping all the time, losing interest in things, um, people in sadness, anger, hopelessness, fatigue, mm -hmm. all of that comes about with depression. Yes. Because when you get depressed, you really have no energy. Yes. Except, mm -hmm. And that should tell you that depression does affect your body. Yes, it, it does. It affects your body to where you're so tired mm -hmm. and just don't want it at the time you don't want to cope with yes. anything mm -hmm. you don't want Step to deal out. with anything mm -hmm. you're just depressed yes. and you just want to get away from it and so when you go and you sleep depression is like taking you out of that situation yes. and away from that problem that you don't have to deal with it because you're asleep. Right. <laughs> but we have to stand on the word of God and know that we cannot go to the bed for the rest of our really? Christian walk. <laughs> We have to get up and face it like a real soldier. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Sister Tracy is going to read some scriptures. Amen, for us. amen. Oh, I, I like that. You said we have to face it because one thing about depression is we don't want to face reality. That's right. That's we right. want to run from whatever situation that's ailing us, yes. whatever, yes. whatever reasons why we're down in mm -hmm. our spirit. Mm -hmm. We want to run from those. We yeah. don't want to. That's right. We don't want to face reality. No, we, don't. we withdraw from the public mm -hmm. um, and when we do that we're leading to our own understanding yes, we are. you know we're we're very self-centered we're thinking about yeah. how we feel what mm -hmm. we're going through what we couldn't have right. <laughs> what didn't go our way right. Yeah, right. We're, we're thinking about we, we mm -hmm. get overwhelmed sometimes yeah. by our own thoughts so yes. we you know we get depressed and we withdraw and but we can't do that you know we call ourselves soldiers in the army of the lord well we got to put our work clothes on oh, we have to fight that demon yes, yes. demon of depression yes. we can't go to our bed and stay there because people are depending on us people need us yes. especially when you work in the in the ministry yes. you really have to look to to the lord you really have oh, to man. look to the word of god mm -hmm. and remember yes. god's promises mm -hmm. if he said i'll never leave you nor forsake oh, you yes. i will be with you to the end of the earth. Yes. We have to believe that. Yes, There's a scripture in the Bible, mm. Psalms 30 and 5. We always we don't say the beginning part of the scripture. We always lean towards the, yeah. the ending, but I'm going to read the whole, whole scripture. Mm -hmm. It says, For his anger endureth for a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Yes. Amen. Yes. We, yes. We, <laughs> I remember telling myself, Lord, if I can just get through yes. this night. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. If I can get through this night, mm -hmm. because weeping may endure for a night, mm -hmm. but joy cometh in the morning. Yes. And that first part of that scripture, um, for his anger endureth for a moment. Yes. In his favor is life. So we want to live life and we want to live it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because in his favor, God's favor for us, because he loves us, he wants us to live abundantly. Mm -hmm. In his favor is life. So we have to grab a hold of life and live it yes. according to his will and not our own. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's so important that we trust in the Lord, that yes. we delight ourselves in the Lord, that we commit ourselves to the Lord. Yes. And once you do that, that releases what's going on with you and what you feel and what you want and, mm -hmm. and how you are dealing with things because now I'm putting this on you Lord yes. I'm trusting you, yes. I'm depending on you yes. I'm going to light myself in you mm -hmm. I'm committing myself to you we have to do that yes. you know you want this depression off if you want it off yes. you know some people like being in their little pity space Come on now. Mm -hmm. you know they like being in their little, little feel sorry for me mm -hmm. you know I'm going through this here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that, that uh, First Lady said something earlier that um, this it's a sickness. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a sickness that people take to the doctor mm -hmm. and the doctor can't find nothing wrong with you. Good point. Mm -hmm. I got that going on. So it's a sickness that doctor can't find nothing wrong with you. Oh, my stomach hurt and, and, and my heart hurt and this here hurt because you're in a depressed state. Right. And, and it deals with every part of your body. Yes, it does. You know, so you got to learn how to trust, yes. the light, and commit yourself to yes. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Give it to yeah. Him. Most you know, and, and it ain't that we don't know how to do it. Yeah. It's just people don't want to do it. Right. Exactly. You know, it, you have to give up something. You know, we, we want to be healed, we want to be delivered. We got to have faith. 
Yes. That God going to hear what we praying and crying out about. Yes. And like Sister Tracy was saying earlier, you know, we got to release these things. Yes. You know, some things ain't going to go your way. Mm -hmm. So what you had failed you in life? Yes. So what you didn't be that, that doctor you wanted to be? So what you didn't have that success that you wanted to have? Come out the bed, yes. uncover your head, mm -hmm. <laughs> and start having a relationship with the Lord to we'll help you out. find some other way to go. Yeah. It may not be the way God wants you to go. We need to accept life as it is. Yeah. Okay, this is yeah. what life is. I need to face it. Most I can't live on my past. Yeah. I can't live on my past failures. Uh, yeah. I can't yeah. live on what I didn't do. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people live on their past, what yes. I should have, could have did. Yes. You know? It didn't happen. Get over it. Most definitely. <laughs> it's past tense now. Yes. Get off the drugs. Get off the alcohol. And 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 you stop being disappointed about yourself. And let the Lord heal you. Amen. Amen. You have to be an active participant, participant in your healing oh, yes. when dealing with depression. So because a lot of it has to do what yes. we're feeling. Yes. You know, what we're feeling. And, yes, and Lord. Yes, our Lord. feelings have us going mm -hmm. every which way mm -hmm. but yep. So we can't rely on our feelings. So mm -hmm. it's important to rely on what's real. Yes. We know God's word is real. Mm -hmm. We know God's word is true. So we have to rely on that. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't rely on our own thoughts because our thoughts are negative. Mm -hmm. That's why we, we stay in bed. Yeah. yeah. Our thoughts are are very <laughs> self centered. Yes. We're we're thinking about who all done something to us? Yes. How we were hurt. Yes. What happened to us? Yeah. You know, we have to be active participants mm -hmm. in getting over our depression by giving it to God and mm -hmm. and throwing your hands up and telling the Lord, thank, thank you. you. Okay, I'm still, I'm still thank here. Telling the Lord, thank you. If He woke you up this morning, even though thank you're not you. feeling so great, yes. throw your hands up and tell the Lord, thank you. Start start speaking positive words to yes. yourself. Yes. That start, is it. Yes. Start Stop speaking being so negative. Most definitely. Oh my God. You, you have to get out of the rut. Nobody can do it for you. Mm -hmm. You have to ask God, Lord, take this away from me. Lord, just talk to God. Mm -hmm. He'll do it. Just yes. talk to him. Yes. You know, you said something when you said um, your words have power. And they do have yes, power. Yes, they do. What you speak, the Bible tells us that life and death lies in the power yes. of the tongue. Yes, it does. And so if you're always speaking doom and gloom, Come on, hello. Hello, guess what? Guess what it's going to be yes. doom and gloom. Yes. Yes. But if you're speaking positivity, mm -hmm. if you're speaking hope, if you're speaking life, mm -hmm. if you're speaking joy and peace, Guess what? That's going to come. Will bad times come true. or sad mm -hmm. times come? Of course they will. Yeah. But guess what? Hey, I always Thank say Jesus. this. That every day is a good day. Come you just got to find the good in your day. That's right. That's I mean, come on now. Yes. Maybe it's the person that held the door for you. Maybe it's someone that smiled. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the, someone that said, you know what? That's a pretty dress you have on yes. today. Thank you. It's a good day. Yes, it you is. You just got to pick out the good <laughs> in your day. So we thank you for joining yes. us. We hope this helped you. And come back and be with us on next week when we have another topic for you. <laughs>